Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn here and I am back with another video and I want to talk to you about why I kind of took a right turn on my channel and started talking about self-care, particularly self-care for creative women entrepreneurs. And I, you know, I, as you can tell by this playlist that you're watching this video in that I'm really excited and passionate and into what I call strategic self-care specifically for creative women entrepreneurs and I just wanted to come on and talk about like why should should there be a specific category to talk about strategic self-care particularly for creative women entrepreneurs and that is because in general as a creative you are always um coming up with new ideas you are always solving problems you are always germinating or sprouting you know um thoughts and solutions and if you think about this when it comes to i'm, I'm not a gardener okay let me just let me just clarify i'm not a gardener i got a couple of house plants okay but they don't like they don't take a lot of uh, maintenance i have to water them like once every week and a half and that's it they're low life I don't have a green thumb, but let me get back to the point. But I wanted to use a reference when you think about sprouting things or when you think about things um, when they're when they're growing and when they're um, sprouting, which is there's a huge amount of energy that is expelled at the creation of a thing. And so as a creative, we're always coming up, whether it's with new content, whether it's with new programs, new products, new services, new ideas, new ways to serve our clients better. We're always coming up with a lot of ideas. And so we're always exuding a significant amount of energy and effort and to be honest, emotion, right? And so I have a lot of people in my life who are creative women entrepreneurs in a, a myriad of spaces, whether they own a um, an, a high-end nanny placement agency and they are supporting high-profile women and their families with home staff, whether it's you know a high-level coach for really successful women entrepreneurs on how to leverage their femininity in their business, in their love life with their family and in their home life and in their health, right? And supporting them at a high level, whether it's, you know, um, a marriage and family therapist that is supporting couples at a really, really high level, whether it's, you know, marketing automation for, you know, multi-million dollars or billion dollar companies. These, these are my friends. And I was starting to notice a trend in the level of stress, in the level of just pouring, 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 pouring. And traditional self-care advice and self-care routines was not getting it. And so even myself, I had to figure out a way, like, how can I continue to do this and, and love it, um, but in a way that I'm not like burning out all the time, right? And just feeling like, oh, I'm just going and going and going. And then even watching some of my faves on social media, some of the people that I really admire and I like to follow, um, just kind of noticing their level of stress and not that they said anything but you know your girl got a little bit of discernment i can kind of feel it and just that giving 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 and i was like there's a special brand of self-care that is needed for that level of giving it's kind of like if you're a mother and i'm not a mother there's a special brand of self-care that you need that i may not need and that i can't speak to right that another mother is like, let me tell you how you really need to do this thing. And so from one creative woman entrepreneur to another, right, it's just, there's just a little bit of a difference. And if you watch um, my last video, I talked about the difference between a self-care routine and strategic self-care. And I feel, and it's been my own experience and the experience of the women that I have mentioned and the women that I have observed, that strategic self-care is way more effective than a self-care routine our lives are dynamic, they're interesting, they're changing. And I'm not saying that other women's art, that's not what I'm saying, but I'm specifically talking about creative women entrepreneurs and how our life is very dynamic and we're always pouring out all, I mean, we are pulling ideas out of the atmosphere, okay? And turning them into tangible things all the time. And so strategic self-care, which is not one size fits all, not even one size fits most, is what I found that creative women entrepreneurs needed. So I hope that um, 
you're rocking with this. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you will share these videos with other creative women entrepreneurs that you know and um make sure you subscribe to the channel okay turn your notifications on and uh i've got something really really special coming for you guys soon i'm going to be i'm going to be creating a training about um strategic self-care specifically for creative women entrepreneurs it's going to be totally free um but i will let you know when that's coming and if you don't know i am now on instagram for this channel for the evelyn inc and so if you want to follow me on instagram or on facebook at the evelyn inc i'd love to have you over there and share some juicy content and interact with you that way as well and uh, i will see you in my next video peace